This video is going to show you how to bleed your brakes the old-fashioned way. If you're going to do this, I can't recommend enough. Get yourself a power bleeder, like a motive power bleeder. It makes the job a one-person job, quick, simple, and easy, and it is money really well spent. In this video, we will go over the old-fashioned way to do it. This photo illustrates the brake fluid reservoir under the hood on the left side back by the windshield. Remove the reservoir cap. You have to remove the cab and micro filter housing to access it. Make sure you clean carefully around the cap before you open it. You do not want to get any dirt, contaminants, anything into your brake system. Fill the reservoir with new brake fluid. It is very important that you keep the reservoir full during the brake bleeding procedure. If it runs dry, you will allow air to get drawn into the system through the master cylinder and you will have to start all over again. Check the brake fluid level after bleeding each caliper. The BMW recommended procedure is to bleed the right rear caliper followed by the left rear wheel, then the right front caliper and finally the left front caliper. The reason is the brake line is the longest to the right rear. The brake line starts at the master cylinder on the right side, moves across the body to the hydraulic assembly, and then to the back of the car to the right rear caliper. The next longest is the left. Set up your bleeder bottle on the brake bleeder screw. Put the hose of the bleeder bottle, yellow arrow, on the bleed screw of the caliper you are bleeding. Put an 11 millimeter flared nut wrench, green arrow, on the bleeder screw as well. Have your helper step on the brake pedal all the way to the floor and all the way back three times. Then have them hold the pedal firmly to the floor. Open the bleeder screw on the right rear caliper by turning the wrench counterclockwise. If you open the brake system for service, you will probably get air at first. If you are flushing your brake system, watch the flow of brake fluid in the hose. It should rush out, then slow down. Your helper will feel the pedal sink to the floor. Tell them to keep the pedal pushed to the floor. This will prevent air being let back into the caliper. Close the bleeder screw by turning it clockwise. Green arrow. Have your helper pump the brake pedal again three times and hold it to the floor again. Open the bleeder screw again and have your helper continue to force the pedal to the floor. When the fluid stops flowing or the pedal sinks all the way to the floor, close the bleeder screw, green arrow. Look at the bleeder bottle clear tubing, yellow arrow, for air bubbles suspended in the fluid. When you no longer see bubbles, move to the next wheel. Repeat this process. As you bleed air out of the system, your helper will notice the brake pedal getting harder to press and sink more to the floor as you open the valve. This is good. This means you're purging air from the brake hydraulic system. This may take several times to get all the air out. When small air bubbles no longer appear coming out of the caliper, you can move on to the next caliper. After each wheel, check the fluid level in the brake fluid reservoir and refill it if necessary. Properly tighten all bleeder screws and return any wiring stays and rubber caps as well. Spray any brake fluid on the vehicle with brake cleaner and let it air dry. This, of course, does not go for any painted surfaces. Brake fluid is toxic. Do not let it get on your paint. Use brake cleaner in a well-ventilated area and let the components air dry. The brake clean will evaporate into air with time. Make sure the brake fluid reservoir is full and install the cap. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.